You are supposed to be up there. Why are you down here? Did you do that? Did you do that? Bad solar panel, bad. What do you guys think of the odds of this thing still working? This cable was connected up top and when it came off the roof, it's no longer connected. I don't see any cracks on here, even where it hit right here on the corner. I don't see any cracks at all, but we're gonna test it. Let's see if this baby still works. Hello and welcome back, Jim Boat here. That panel is supposed to be right there on top of the roof. Check this out. There's the panel. It's supposed to be right here. And it blew this panel off this side of the boat over the top of this one and landed 13 feet down there. One cable is still connected, so I have to check and see if this cable still works with this panel. This was connected to that panel here and it's no longer connected. So I have to check this panel out also to see if it ripped the cabling right off of this. They were not mounted, but it blew a 55 pound solar panel right off of this roof. I'm gonna do some testing on all three panels because obviously I need to make sure that they still work before I hook them all back up and mount them this time. If not, up to Santan Solar for some more solar panels. The question I have is when it came off, when it hit the end of it, it obviously pulled on this cable to disconnect this. So I wonder what kind of damage there is to this and that one. But first let's check the voltage. 47.6 volts. The connector seemed to be good that I'm holding. These must be heat shrunk against this cable. This looks in good shape. They did a really good job. But obviously it took a nice hit. And both of these seem to be nice and stable. Turn this up here. I can just test the hot lead from here and the ground from here. So that should be two times 45. So I should get about 90 volts on here. Let's try it out. This is the ground here, I think. And this, there must be better connectors here for this stuff. If I wanted to just snap it in here and test this thing. There we go. 91.4 volts. I don't know if you can see that and add the polarity wrong. That's pretty cool. It still works. All right. I really am lucky that none of those solar panels got damaged when they got blown off the roof. You know, the funny thing is one of my good friends suggested that I bolt them down so they wouldn't get blown off the roof. What did I say? They weigh 60 pounds. They're not going to get blown off the roof. I mean, really, what possibly could go wrong? Anyway, I'm going to start doing a lot more videos now that the parts for the outboard are showing up. The batteries will be here in a few days and I'm going to start ordering some accessories that I'm going to use in this boat. And I'm going to start doing reviews on the products that I'm using in this boat. So as usual, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and I love you guys. I'll talk to you on the next video.